Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on replication of this uh, gliding system and the uh, zip line system. So this big window in the left is server and these two are clients. So here is a demonstration. Now you can see gliding is replicated from both client to client and server to server, server to client. Now if I go here and jump, you can see I can see line upwards to here. You can see it is replicated from server client to server and client to client. So let me do the same thing from the server side too. Right, it was replicated. and yeah okay so i think that should be enough for the demonstration so yeah that's what we are going to work on today how to replicate gliding and the zip line by the way i have already covered how did i implement these systems in previous tutorials so if you don't remember them if you are first starting to watch the tutorial from here it would be better if you have watched how did i implement the gliding and splines i'll leave the links in the description all right so now at the moment i haven't really thought about replication so let's enable two players and Set play as listen server and play in new editor window so I can get two windows. This one is server, this one is client. But as you can see, oh, moment is replicated. So let me jump and enable glide. So as you can see. The glide part was not replicated. Let me uh, start from the ground so it would be easier for me to test. See, not replicated from client to server, but server to client also, the gliding part is not replicated okay now let's fix that let me open the character blueprint now gliding is the events related to gliding is implemented here so we worked on these parts before and i have already shared pre tutorials on them in the parts where i worked on these parts so if you don't remember you can watch them i'm just gonna implement replication here without going into any detail about how this gliding system works right so this is the input action so as you can see this is still using the legacy input system uh, i haven't converted this into enhanced input system but even if you do it would still be just a event like this so should be fine you can use the same method to implement replication so here i'll add a custom function total glide mode and add an input enable now let me add a branch and if this is true I should start gliding. If this is false, I should stop gliding. Right now, we don't need this connected here. So let me move this up and move the new event to this level. I'll mark this as multicast. So that means replicate this event from server to everyone else 
So if this event is called in the server, this would be replicated to all the instances of the game. Now, wglide mod. So this is execute on all multi class. Uh, I'll add another function, a custom event. Toggle glide mod server. Oh, wait. I'll rename this multicast toggle glide mode multicast and toggle glide mode server so that's much that's clear now I'll mark this event run on server so here I'll simply call toggle glide mode multicast because this is meant to run on server or we need an input also this is meant to run on server so if this is running on server if i just call this event then whatever happens after this event will be replicated to all the instances of the game now when i press input action if this input is received in the server we could simply call this fun uh, call this event otherwise we could call this so this would be fired in the server and in turn it will call this event which will replicate the event to all the instances so without directly if i just call this function when i am the client this will not be replicated so what should i do when i enable this so i need to check if i have the authority so has switch has authority oh this is inbuilt macro cool so this pin means we are inside the server this pin means we are inside the client if i open this after macros here it's a simple macro now if we are here we can call toggle glide mode multicast because we are already in the server if not we can call toggle glide mode server so this will run on the server that runs this multicast event on the server which replicates to every instance I know it sounds a little confusing but I don't have a better way to put it that put that now if we release we need to stop gliding so let me duplicate the same part released call the same events with the false right now let's play cool see now you can see add uh, the character gliding from both instances okay now let's look at the other character and uh, let's try here see now the gliding is replicated cool right let's test it three instances so that we can test replication from client to client also i'll start with the client yeah replicated to everywhere this should already work yeah nice Okay, now zip lines. So zip line replication. I don't think it works yet. Let me test. So we can go upward also in the rear zip lines. See? Alright, I have pressed shift. 
so it's not replicating as you can see you can check here oh yeah far away see the character is moving oh this was server so server replication does work see it's working but from client let's try see it's not replicating from client to server or server to client and also when i jump down it's still in the starting location all right so let's fix that too uh where is it here so yeah so the zip line is based on this jump event so just like we did for the um, glide event we can replicate the jump event too oh uh, i want another custom event jump uh, multicast this should be multicast and it needs a input because we have released and pressed pressed and release state so it would be the start or stop jumping so we can have a branch if this is start if this is true that means start jumping that means it should be connected here otherwise simply connect to stop jumping all right now we can break this all this guy over here and we need another custom event jump server mark this as run on server also need a start or stop boolean so here simply call jump multicast because this event will be fired in server now for the event what you have to do is uh, as authority if yes call jump multicast with true otherwise jump server with the true right similarly duplicate this right control d this is false call the same events with the false save right now i'll start with the client see it's replicating you can see the animation and it jumps down in the correct place let me stop this guy here and move the other client so we can test again yep it's replicating to both server and client move here now let's try the server it already worked so no reason it to not work 
okay see now it's replicated and that's how you replicate glides and zip lines and the next thing we need to replicate is this ladder system but uh, i'll do that in the next episode i think these two replications should be enough for today and uh, the the reason the ladder is a bit complicated it is it's also using a, a road motion enabled montage to move up the ladder and to the top part so it's a little bit complicated than replicating the gliding and zip lines so i'll just leave that for the next part so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of patreon club see you in another episode goodbye